Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great brand new work and play travel trailer toy hauler value from Parkway RV Center. Today we're going to look at a brand new 2018 Forest River work and play. This is the LE series model 25CB. This is their entry level model. Uh, so in other words, folks, this is their price point leader. This is one of the few remaining uh, working plays I have left in stock. Uh, as many of you may know from my previous videos, working play is no longer building them like this. Working play is still in business, but they are they have opened up a new plant and completely changing the way they build these travel trailer toy haulers and and not in a good way. Um, you know they're they're mass producing these things now. They don't longer have many of the things that made work and play the name they are today. And I'll go over that here in a minute. But this is once these once the work and plays like this one are gone, they're gone. There's no ordering them. Uh, you can no longer get them built like this anymore. They look similar, but they're not built similar. Um, of course, work and play known as. Pretty much the most heavy duty toy hauler you can buy the way this one's built. It's 30 feet long. It weighs 6,595 pounds as equipped. It's got the LE convenience package. So it has a lot of the same features and conveniences that the FR, it's, it's uh, the more expensive FRP series has. Um, looking around folks, a couple of things I'm gonna point out. Uh, number one thing work and play is most known for, at least until now, is the seamless one-piece metal roof. Not fiberglass, not rubber. Now the new ones are going to go into a TPO roof instead of a metal roof like everybody else's toy haulers are made, but this is still the older style, better built one, and it has a one-piece metal roof. It's 25 year factory warranty on the floor, which is nobody else does that. And the way these are built, folks, even though this is an entry level model, you still have steel trusses in the floor and the ceiling every 16 inches. The new ones, like everybody else's travel tra trailer toy haulers, are 32 to 36 inches. This has this particular one has them every 16 inches, so it's a lot more heavy duty built. It's going to last a lot longer. 4,000 pound rolling weight capacity on the rear entry door. The LE convenience package includes a power, a 3,500 pound power tongue jack. It includes the um, Includes the awning, which if I'm not mistaken, this is an 18 foot power awning. So you can open it and close it with the push of a button from the inside the camper. Uh, LE convenience package also includes outside speakers for your stereo. And inside on the rear entry door, it includes, it includes the fold down screen. So many of the same features found on the more expensive FRP models at a LE price. So definitely uh, some pretty neat features about it, folks. Uh, it is set up for the solar charger. We do have those kits available in stock. You know, if you want to set up a, a solar panel, it's already wired up for it and much more. Um, show you a couple other things real quick, folks. Nitrogen field tires, got the blacked out wheels. Another thing Work and Play does, they're no longer going to be doing, but they did with this one, metal wheel wells. You know, most other brands are aluminum. That metal, that heavy duty steel metal, will protect your RV from blowouts. And of course, I know you don't really have to worry about that now, but as those tires get several years old, I'm sure that's eventually going to be a concern and that's going to help protect it from blowouts. Uh, new ones, of course, are not doing that. The way they're built, the reason why they're redesigning these folks, and according to my rep, they can build more new working plays with a new manufacturing process in a day than they could building them in this style in a week. And that's why they're doing this, folks. They cannot keep up with the demand, with the consumer demand, so they're going to build, I, I, I hesitate to say lesser quality unit, but I'm, I'm not going to pass judgment until I see them. But I really honestly think that you're going to be a bettering yourself 
a whole lot buying one this design this build quality over the new ones I honestly think you would be greatly benefiting yourself anyway let's look inside as we step inside folks notice it's got the Lifford solid steps that folds straight up into the camper so you don't have steps hanging down so if you hit a low spot you don't have to worry about bending your steps or, or knocking them off 65.95 is the dry weight and it has a cargo carrying capacity of 4600 pounds and change you can step inside folks this has got a lot of extra options and features The first thing you're going to notice on any, any new on any new work and play is most other RVs have a six and a half, six foot, foot eight roof, seven and a half foot into your height. Nobody else does that, folks. And if you're towing a golf cart or a side by side, that's huge. Got a couple of extra couches in here that aren't standard uh, that we ordered with it. You've got uh, the fold down sofas. I folded one down so you can see. It's got a removable table. You can set it up outside as picnic table, leave it in here, however you want to do it. And you can see how the other sofa folds up flat against the wall. So you can sleep two there. They make two separate beds. Two on that sofa, two on that sofa, and two on this sofa, plus your queen bed in the front. So you can actually sleep up to eight people in this working play. 25-year uh, warranty on the floor. You've got 2,500-pound uh, rated D rings in the floor to tie down your cargo, about 1500 pounds, like it's found in most other toy haulers. And remember what I was talking about the steel trusses in the roof? Let me show you this. I know, I don't know how well you can see it. There's, see these screws right here? There's screws here that, that's putting the ceiling panel into the ceiling trusses, 16 inches. There's another screw all up and down, 16 inches under this batten strip. There's another one. Another screw, another screw, every 16 inches. Now, you go look at any other brand toy hauler, you're going to see that every 32 to 36 inches, but not in working place, every 16 inches, just like a motorhome chassis has instead of a travel trailer chassis. And the same thing in the floor. I mean, this floor does not give, folks, and neither will the roof. They've got a 25-year warranty from Forest River on this floor. And, folks, I don't know, you know, I know everybody's worried about working place being in business, but... Work and Play is owned by Forest River, the largest RV manufacturer that's ever existed, owned by Brookshire Hathaway. You know their uh, CEO better is Mr. Warren Buffett, third richest man in America. Forest River honors all Work and Play. Any Forest River dealer will honor a Work and Play warranty, so um, keep that in mind. Anyway, especially if, if they ever quit making Work and Plays, I don't look for them to do. What I look for it to happen is after three or four years in this new manufacturing process, their sales are going to drop. They're going to go back to building them like this. That's my prediction. And I hope they do because nobody else builds a toy hauler like Work and Play does, folks. No, I mean, you know, you're going to go out and spend what you can buy this toy hauler for, for a cheaper Coachman or a Jayco or a KZ toy hauler that in six or seven years has fallen to pieces, that doesn't have a metal roof, that has a lower ceiling that's not as well insulated, not as well built. And and before you can pay it off, you're, you're pretty much, you've got a toy hauler that's fallen to pieces. But these working plays are built more or less like a cargo trailer. I mean, they're built to last. And this is something that you'll be able to use way beyond after you pay it off, if you choose to do so. Anyway, folks, seven and a half foot ceilings. I'm going to point out some nice features. Uh, one thing I've noticed they started doing on the new LEDs is they start they quit using as many of the smaller LED lights and started using the LED panel lights in the ceiling. Puts out a lot more light and still doesn't use much more amperage than this style of light like they used to put in it. And there are some of them too. Um, this is actually an eight cubic foot refrigerator. Most other brands are six. Uh, got a Furion, which is a Lippard component RV stereo. This is Bluetooth enabled and it's got a USB hookup. Six gallon DSI gas or electric water heater. And you can see it's got the heavy duty LP stove top. Got the nice microwave. I mean, this is considered a base model, folks. That's what's bad. This is considered a base model. Got a one-year Forest River warranty and roadside assistance. You can extend that warranty to two years for just a few hundred bucks. I strongly encourage everybody to do that. 
I mean, it's for no more than it costs. You're crazy not to. Uh, got the pop-out vents. Got a 13,500 BTU roof area, which does a phenomenal job cooling this area off. Like I said, the refrigerator is the bigger refrigerator. You know, most of these lightweight tool, most of the entry model toy haulers have just a smaller fridge. This has actually got the eight cubic foot one. Got a uh, queen size bed in the front. Uh, corner bed, corner bath set up. This gives you the maximum amount of garage space. And I've got, a, of course, in the ad, I'll have pictures and all that. But you can see you've got 17 and a half foot long of cargo carrying capacity uh, to the start of this sink right here. So you've actually got more than that. You've got another two or three foot past that if you want to use it. Um, and would trust me, with that much cargo carrying capacity, 4,600 pounds, you can really load this thing up if you want to. And it's heavy, it's built heavy duty enough to handle it. Uh, the bed liner, it's got the bed liner material on the ramp door. This gives you extra tractions and re resists stains from oil and gasoline. Uh, like I said, it's got the fold down screen. So on a pretty day, you can lower that door down, put that screen down to keep the bugs out. Let some fresh air in here. Enjoy the great outdoors. Set up for a TV. If you want to add a TV, just, just let us know. We'll... Uh, We'll put one in it and just charge you whatever it cost us. A lot of advantages buying a work and play over a cheaper brand. Now I know these are a little bit heavier built than your average toy hauler. But the old saying in the RV community is the heavier it's built, the better it's built. And that's nothing, and that is so true. I mean, you cannot beat ruggedness and steel construction, folks. I don't care. What kind of artificial materials you come up with, you cannot beat steel construction. Um, front corner bathroom, and thanks to the fact it's got a seven and a half foot ceiling, you don't have to have one of those hot skylights over your shower. You know, those skylights, if they sit outside for a few years, they, they start leaking. They get hot when you're taking a shower, and with a seven and a half foot, you obviously don't need the extra head headroom if you're a tall guy like me. Another thing that they do that nobody else does is their shower pans. Other RV manufacturers, they use a marine grade expanding spray foam to um, enforce their shower pans. Let me let my camera focus here. Um, basically, that foam expands and hardens and it works great for a few years, folks, but eventually as water and heat gets to that foam, it breaks down to one day you go inside to take a shower and you step through your shower pan. That's why, obviously, why they have uh, replacement shower pans in all the RV parts catalogs because that's a pretty common thing. Working Play is the only one that reinforces it with metal. And this is a simple test you can do, and I apologize, my camera's not focusing for some reason. Anyway, I'll try to show you this, even though it's out of focus. What you want to do is anytime you go look at new toy haulers, go into the bathroom and do this to the shower. Stomp on it as hard as you can. Jump up and down on it. Here's the thing. Any other brand but work and play, you're going to feel it give. This doesn't give, folks. That is metal enforced. It's ne You're never going to puss through that, folks. I promise you. Got an RV toilet. Got a little sink area, medicine cabinet. I mean, folks, there's nothing like a work and play. I mean, and, and it was a sad day for toy hauler shoppers when work and play announced they are no longer building them like this right here. Um, and I can understand why they're doing it. They can build them lightweight now with this new manufacturing process. They can build them faster, but they sure aren't building them as good. Sure aren't. Uh, folks, MSRP on this unit as equipped, and I've got the spec sheet, uh, sheet right here, and if you look here, uh, you're going to see MSRP 32149 as equipped, um, and I get in trouble with Forest River by this all the time because they're big on map pricing, which is manufacturer's advertised pricing which is normally right around MSRP. But I don't ever, you know folks, I advertise these things to sell, not sit around. Um, I don't make much money on these, but I, you know, I do like it because it gets people in the door. And I sell my new working plays like I do our used RVs for the past 50 years. We sell them cheaper than anybody. Our price 
no extra fees, $23,777. No extra fees. In other words, unlike other work and play dealers, when you get ready to sign the paperwork, they're not going to hit you up with dock fees and prep fees and setup fees and all this other junk, folks. $23,777 plus any applicable sales tax is what you pay, not a dollar more. No surprises, no games, no gimmicks. That's a haggle-free price, firm, non-negotiable. Um, you're basically buying a, almost a $33,000 brand new toy hauler for $23,777. So it's, and, no, and not paying any extra fees. All those fees these other dealers try to charge you are 100% dealer profit, 100% unnecessary to purchase a used or new RV. Uh, folks, this is a nice toy hauler and this is considered an entry model this work and play entry model is nicer than most other toy haulers higher end models and it's the same price as these throwaway light, uh, brand lightweight campers when they look at them when they're new 23,777 <laughs> get online and look at what kind of new toy hauler you can buy for under 24 grand and compare it to this one and you'll see folks it's basically buying a new Lexus for the price of a of a uh, of a used uh, for the price of a Kia I mean you got high quality ruggedness heavy duty something that will last you as long as you want to keep it something if you take care of it it'll take care of you and pass it down to your kids or grandkids or whatever that's what a work and play is folks and um, and once these particular built working plays are gone, they're gone. So there's only a, it's not like you can order one like this anymore. Once the supply is gone, they won't come back, at least hope, at least not for several more years if, if work and play changes their process, which I strongly, strongly think they will when their sales drop enough. You got to realize this is the camper that made work and play the number one selling travel trailer toy hauler in America for the past eight years in a row is this toy hauler this work and play exactly the way this one's built the new ones they're not going to have a they're going to have they're not going to have a uh, um, a metal roof they're going to have a heavy duty TPO roof which is essentially a, a heavy duty rubber roof they're not going to have the steel trusses every 16 inches now, they may have the seven and a half foot uh, interior ceiling heights at, I don't know, but um, they're not going to have the 25 year warranty on the floor because it's going to be built just like everybody else's. But anyway, folks, give us a call 706 965 7929. Evenings and Sundays, 423 605 6747. We're still going to carry work and play for now. Um, because this way I, I'm, I'm trying to buy all these leftover ones that other dealers want to sell because once they're gone, they're gone. And I look for the value on the working plays like this to actually go up instead of down because when people realize you can't buy them anymore because nobody else builds a toy hauler like this. There's a couple of other brands out there that build uh, a heavy duty toy hauler. But because working plays go not building these anymore like this, other dealers are going through them, and it's a year, year and a half uh, before some of them can even get your custom ordered unit to you. So, anyway, give us a call if you have any questions about working plays at all. Uh, 706-965-7929. Evenings and Sundays, 423-605-6747. Uh, visit our website, parkwayrvcenter.com, to see our current inventory of new work and play toy haulers as well as several used toy haulers and various brands. Um, you know, we do take pretty much anything of value in on trade that we can legally sell and we don't have to feed every day. Uh, if you've got a car, a truck, uh, an RV, a boat, uh, no motorcycles, please, because, you know, if you've got a motorcycle, you're trying to sell it in this market, you know why the market's flooded. But um, any, pretty much anything else, folks, I'll take guns, jewelry, I'll take dirt bikes, four-wheelers, side-by-sides, golf carts, anything of value on trade that I can get a figure on, I'll be happy to put a trade figure on. Give us a call, 706-965-7929, evenings and Sundays. 423-605-6747. You can email us mail 
uh, mail at Parkway, or excuse me, sales at parkwayrvcenter.com. You can email us there, and we'll be happy to get back to you as soon as possible. You can go to our website. We've got a 24 7 uh, live operator chat system that's always answered. If my operator, if it's 3 o'clock in the morning, you got a question, ask my operator. If they can't answer it, they'll get your information, and one of our salespeople will contact you the next business day with the information you want. Keep it easy, easy, folks. I mean, no, no commission salespeople, no extra fees. I did away with everything everybody hates about buying a vehicle from a dealer. Did away with haggling. You know, instead of pricing this thing thirty-two grand or thirty grand like everybody else, I just put our best price on there. If you want it, there it is. If you don't buy it, somebody else, I assure you, somebody else will because once these are gone, they're gone. They don't make them anymore, folks. Not like this. So. Uh, you know, I'm not trying to be hard to get along with, but I'm already almost ten thousand dollars under in a, under MSRP. I've got just you would be surprised how little our markup is. Um, like I said, I only carry I carry primarily used mo RVs and stuff, but the only reason I carry the new line is because banks, like the big huge banks, will not do business with a dealer if they are not some kind of franchise dealer or carry a new line, uh, and I. And these big banks have great financing programs for our customers, and that's the only reason we carry new, a new brand at all, is so we can offer our customers superior financing over being just a, a non-franchise dealer. Anyway, folks, story for another day. Uh, if you have any questions, call us, email us, uh, come visit us in person, see how we operate, see how we do business. You're going to be impressed, folks. We're family-owned and operated since 1968. You know, 50 years in business, if that's not a true testimony to how we treat our customers, the quality of the RVs we sell and the prices we sell them for 50 years in business, I, I don't know what else. What else could tell you any better right th than, that, than that statement right there, folks? 50 years in business. Third generation, family owned and operated, folks. Give us a call, 706-965-7929. Evenings and Sundays, 423-605-6747. Um, Look forward to seeing. We offer nationwide delivery financing available with approved credit. Minimum 10% down payment is a requirement. No matter what your, how good your credit is, that's not our rules. That's the banks, folks. They're the ones with the money. We have to follow by their rules just as much as you do. But anyway, folks, we're also more than happy to work with your own bank or credit union. Just let your non-commissioned salespeople know uh, which way you want to proceed. Thank you again for watching, as always, for coming any significant distance. Call ahead. Make sure the unit's still available for sale before coming down to look. I never delete my YouTube videos. YouTube's not my website. My website, if you'll go to it directly, is parkwayrvcenter.com. If you go to my homepage and my YouTube page on the picture, there is a link to the website that says my website. Click on that, and it'll take you there as well. Thank you again for watching. Look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.